Hey guys, it's your friendly community manager, Jay Cleary here with the Aon Network. I'm gonna be demonstrating the bridge transfer using the Nano S Ledger. We've been getting some feedback from our community and questions about how to use the Ledger in conjunction with the token bridge. And so today I'm gonna to demonstrate just how to do that. So for this video, there's a couple things that I have to keep in mind. One, that you've already updated the firmware and included the Aon app on your Ledger device, and that you've already downloaded the desktop wallet to your computer. In this case, I'll be demonstrating it using my MacBook Pro. If you haven't already updated the firmware for your Ledger device, please check out a video that we created, and I'll have a link for that right down here. To get started, Let's first connect the Ledger Nano to our computer. So right now I'm just adding my pin code. No peeking. So now I can see on my device, I see my Ledger screen. It has the Aeon app and I have the Ethereum app all ready to go. So I think to start, we'll actually open the desktop wallet on our computer and we'll connect it to the ledger. So now I have the Aeon desktop wallet open on my computer and I have put in the pin code on the ledger device. Now I'm gonna to go to unlock my account and I'm gonna import account using my ledger. Remind you that I have the Aeon app open so I can view the wallets in the ledger device. So now I can see that the program is connecting to the ledger it's going to provide me the addresses that I need to do the bridge transfer. Right now we're looking at a screen that shows multiple Aeon coin addresses. So I'm going to choose one. And now on my account overview within the Aeon desktop wallet, I can see my ledger and my public address. I am going to copy this public address right now so I can use the bridge. So now I'm here on bridge.aon.network. So the process that we're going through here is moving from an Aon ERC20 token that is sitting on my ledger in an Ethereum wallet. From that wallet, we're gonna interact with the bridge. The bridge is then gonna send back to my ledger in the Aeon coin app, a newly minted Aeon coin. So currently I'm looking at the bridge transfer generator. I'm gonna send, we'll start simple, we'll start with one Aeon and I'm gonna send it to this new address that I just pulled from my Aeon app wallet that resides on my nano ledger. At this point, I can see it says it's asking me to generate the transfer. I have to first acknowledge that I have full access to this wallet. So we are doing an Ethereum transaction. We're essentially interacting with the Aeon ERC20 contract. I'm gonna use my crypto. Uh, my Ether wallet is also an option for this. So now I'm here on my crypto page and it wants to access my Ledger wallet. However, we must note that currently we are sitting inside the Aeon app on the Ledger. At this point, I think it would make sense to back up because the ERC20 tokens are in my Ethereum wallet. So I'm gonna exit out of the Aeon app within Ledger and I'm gonna go to my Ethereum wallet now I'm going to go back to my crypto and I'm going to connect to the Ledger wallet. Now I can see my balance in this wallet here. I'm going to unlock the wallet with my Aeon ERC20 tokens. Now I'm looking at the my crypto page that shows the um, address that it will be sending to to interact with the Aeon ERC20 contract. Amount to send, we leave that blank. You know, I can't stress this aspect enough. 
when you are on the my crypto or my ethereum wallet transaction page you need to leave the ethereum value at zero and the reason that we need to leave that field blank is because we are not making a transaction to the Aon ERC-20 contract. Instead, we're making a contract interaction. But right now, it looks like everything is set. And it's asking me to generate transaction. Now, I can see on my ledger, it's asking me amount of ETH zero to send to this address. I'm gonna accept. Now that I've already generated the transaction, now it's time to send the transaction. It says that I'm about to send, and I am sure that I am ready to make this transaction. So it now says that my transaction has been broadcast to the network. Here's one of the more exciting parts of the bridge transaction. I've taken my transaction hash that I've got from my crypto, and I've brought it into the token bridge mainnet Explorer. At this point, I can see that the Ethereum transaction has been submitted and we're waiting finality from the Ethereum blockchain. At this time, you can see step by step the process going on behind the scenes to burn the ERC Aeon token and a minting of a new Aeon mainnet coin. For this process, it takes on average between 30 to 45 minutes. So hold tight while we watch this transaction take place. So I'm on the token bridge transfer page. I can see it's gone through many of the steps. We're now in the last step in which Aeon is now uh, minting the new Aeon coins and will send them directly to my ledger device to the Aeon coin wallet that we've installed. So now in looking at the token bridge transfer, I can see that it has been completed. The bridge transfer says that it's been finalized. Now we'll want to double check that our one Aeon has been received in our Aeon wallet. I'm going to have to now re-log in to my ledger by adding in the pin and now accessing my Aeon wallet. At this point, I'm gonna go back to the Aeon desktop wallet. I'm gonna lock my account. Now connect to Ledger. I can see a balance of one Aeon. So in this case, we can say it's been a successful bridge transfer of one Aeon. And I do suggest when you guys are going through this process, to start with a very small amount before you transfer your balance. If you have any questions, please send an email to support at aon.network. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment window below. As well, there are many other pathways by using exchanges to do the swap. And I'll put a link below here for all those uh, participating exchanges. Thanks again for joining me on this journey. I look forward to speaking to you again. Thanks guys.